Hello everyone, I'm Joel Moore, President and CEO of Charleston Animal Society, hoping you and your loved ones are safe and healthy. And our thoughts are with everyone that has endured harm from Hurricane Tropical Storm Debbie and the flooding and the aftermath of the storm going through South Carolina. Our thoughts are with you and we hope that the rest of you have survived this storm without any damage or harm to your loved ones. As we know, historically, we're not out of harm's way by any measure. We know all of these waters will drain into the rivers from the Edisto River and those southern rivers of the state all the way up to the Waccamaw River, which is bordering our state in North Carolina. We know historically that several days after is when those rivers can reach their crest, exceed their crest, and begin flooding the PD regions and the low country. So Charleston Animal Society is working with shelters significantly impacted and shelters that are potentially going to be impacted by those flooding waters in the days to come. Thus far, even though we are over capacity, and all of the shelters in South Carolina, quite frankly, are over capacity, we've been able to evacuate 64 animals, 64 dogs, out of the hurricane impacted region and sent those to our partners up at Massachusetts SBCA in the Boston area and over at Noah's Ark up in the Rockford, Illinois area. Thank you to our partners. And that was made possible and supported by Bissell Pet Foundation. And we express our gratitude to Bissell Pet Foundation as well. This is the crisis at hand, is that we cannot evacuate any more animals because there simply isn't space to place those animals. We need you to come in and adopt. We need you to make room in your home and in your hearts for one more. Please make room for one more. If you can't, advocate for these animals with your friends, your coworkers, your loved ones to come in and make room for one more and bring and rescue this animal into their homes so that we can continue to evacuate those animals, those dogs, especially that are in harm's way. Many of the shelters in South Carolina have outdoor kennels and as I mentioned are in low-lying areas and this is where the crisis really takes place with animal shelters. So Charleston Animal Society as the leading disaster response organization in our state and one of the leading ones in our entire southern region um, is really um, hamstrung right now because we have no space to place these evacuated animals in. That's where we need you. We need you to come in and rescue these dogs so that we can continue to evacuate them. So from all of us at Charleston Animal Society, your Charleston Animal Society, we're working 24 seven, day and night. Stay safe, stay healthy, Charleston strong.